Hi, it's Bridget at Above Life Channel. This is the after video for my husband and I to have a casual conversation about the transformative channel that we just did. So we did a trans channel where George and Michael came in. Now I didn't know for sure it was gonna be George. I thought it was gonna be either him or another guy that has been kind of around lately. And it was George, so that was great. And I could see him off stage because that's what happens in a transformative channel. Prince comes in first, he helps me with the energy and he's like a trusted guide for me. He just helps do it. He's like almost like a bouncer or something like, okay, not you, okay, you come in. Okay, are you ready? Everything's good. Like my manager kind of, uh, as spirit manager. And he, um, I could see Prince off to the side. He was wearing like light purple from head to toe, really flowy, you know, his, his like these camel colored heel boots on. And then George Michael was right away and he was all in white. Everything was white. He had like a white shirt with a collar and um, it looked like white shorts, but they were long. And then um, it looked like he had white tennis shoes on and white socks which I'm like white vans, you know, kind of thing, little white socks, I don't know. So he's wearing all white, probably to show that he's in heaven or in the afterlife, fully transitioned. Okay. All right, so honey, what did you think? I'm asking my husband. You didn't do any talking this time. There was no prepared questions for him, so. Yeah. I was hoping he would just take it and run with it, and he did. And he and I have talked twice before. So I've done two conversations with George, um, two videos. So there is actually a playlist. So go look at the playlist. If you're not looking at the playlist, look at the playlist at Above Life Channel on YouTube. So there's two other uh, videos with George. And there's also a link in one of those to an audio I did uh, like a year ago with George, that's fantastic. That was the first ever conversation I had with him. You gotta listen to that. But so he and I have talked a little bit and he's just so nice. He's like such a nice guy. He's so, I would describe him as sweet. He's just sweet, so sweet. And, and he's always so smiley. And he has like just this genuine, like he feels like sunshine. I mean, he just feels like a really positive energy. And I know that he struggled with a lot of things in his human life. Um, and in some of our videos, like I felt the heavy energy of like loneliness. I felt like depression. I felt um, just a lot of challenges. And uh, I mean, we all have challenges. Everybody has challenges and we, and we all suffer. It's just that when they're public figure, they suffer not in private, like in public they suffer. And so can you imagine what's really going on in private? There's a lot more pain there than what is actually being addressed publicly. And all you might see is bad behavior or addiction, but really in private, they're going through hell. And we're lucky he didn't die years before he did. Let me just say that. So all the time that we've had with him, you had with him, if you love George Michael and you're a big fan, then just be blessed for that. Be so grateful for all the, the good philanthropic work that he's done. And I've only learned about this since he and I have been talking. I didn't really know much about him. I knew him from Wham, you guys. And Last Christmas, my very favorite song ever, Last Christmas. Love it. I love it. And that's how he and I started connecting because that song came on and then all of a sudden he's in my van and we were talking. So um, just a really, he feels really like genuine. He feels like a really sweet he was a really sweet guy, really sweet, very caring, very caring. That's what I would say. So if he wasn't acting like that, or if that was, or if, or if um, he wasn't normally like that, and that's not how you see him, I think it's because he was maybe uncharacteristic of himself then, because he wasn't comfortable or he was going through some stuff and, and having a hard time trying to deal with things. And I can't even imagine for people who are so on the public eye having to deal with things publicly. I mean, it's just. It's just incredible to me. Talk about having to be strong, you know, really strong. So, yeah, I'm glad he just went with it because, and he knows too, the things that matter for the channel, for you guys who watch, the things that are really important are getting insights from what it's like to be a spirit. Everybody wants to know about that. And also insights about, um, what they recommend for you or advice for you about living because that's a really important piece is the life that you have not to waste it and not to waste it. Like that's my motivation for doing Above Life channels to inspire people. People go through stuff all the time and you can't compare your, your life to somebody else's and how, 
how, what you're experiencing or what's happened to you or that kind of thing, because everything affects everybody else, everybody differently. We're all unique, beautiful souls, you know? And so uh, I just, uh, he knows how important Above Life Channel is that way. And so there, it's a platform and I know he would want to create positive change in the world. I know he would. And so it, that was a pleasure. I cannot wait to watch it. He was so smiley though. I swear to God, all I could feel was like, I thought, Oh my God, are my teeth sticking out like this? Because <laughs> I felt just these huge cheeks, like rosy cheek Santa, just huge, big smile grin. And I'm like, oh, I hope I don't look like such a ridiculous <laughs> joker or something, <laughs> you know, with my teeth. But, because he had a beautiful smile, let's be clear. He had a gorgeous smile, a beautiful smile, big, beautiful smile. And so, um, Trying to host that in this body is not exactly compatible, but uh, I just felt that. And it, he felt so, and I think it's great because I know that Prince said joyful. He's filled with joy. I would say that that's true. He's just elated, elated and illuminated, illuminated as a spirit and, and happy to be able to share positive messages of hope. So I didn't realize he was so faithful. I didn't realize he was so into religion. I didn't realize that. He must be like, he's got to be like Catholic or even maybe Roman Catholic or Orthodox or something really into Greek Orthodox or something because it felt very like a beautiful and historic and entrenched in culture, his religion. But it also felt conflicted because because there are things like, because he was gay, that he had to try to figure out, well, what parts of me are bad and what parts of me aren't bad? And how does that work? And is God going to love me? And that kind of thing. And I think he always knew that God would accept him and love him. God, not a person, but God, energy, source, spirit. And I think he knew that, but... Um, because it doesn't feel like he was concerned about going to heaven or anything like that. I mean, he definitely was not at all concerned about that. He totally believed in angels. He believed Archangel Michael big time was a very strong because I could feel that with him and Raphael all the time when I've chatted with him. Raphael and St. Michael for George Michael. George Michael, Michael, George Michael, Raphael. So if you want to connect with George Michael's angels, ask, ask Michael and ask Raphael to help you and connect with you. So I haven't given my husband any much chance to talk to you. Anything to add? Nothing to add? He's like, no, I didn't do anything. I didn't even ask anything. So, all right. This is Bridget. Thanks for being here at Above Life Channel. I hope you enjoy the new weekly channeling, vi channeling videos that I share at Above Life Channel YouTube every week. Make sure you like the videos. If you have comments, you want to know more, leave comments. I read your comments and then also share share this with other people you know would just love the connection, especially George Michael fans. And do not forget to subscribe. So you click on the red bell and you'll get notified every week when there's a new channel. This is Bridget. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the channel.